Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. So I'm back with a look at another component in this SRNE off-grid system. I've done a few videos already on it. I've done an overview video, a video on the 30 amp DC to DC charger converter, and another one on the 3000 watt inverter charger. So in this one, I'm gonna give you a look at another component in the system uh, called a battery protect or battery protector. So it's kind of like a solid state switched. Um, you can control it via a remote switch. Um, there's also a Bluetooth version. That's what I'll be looking at. So it has an app. And uh, it's basically used uh, in two ways. It can be used as uh, a load uh, protector. So say your battery starts to run down too, too far um, before it goes right flat, this will turn off the loads to the battery and protect it from over discharge or it can be put in between a charge source, like say a solar controller to a battery, and it can protect it from over voltage, that sort of thing. So uh, um, like I said before, this system really isn't out for sale yet. This is very early days. Um, they sent me some equipment to play around with, and then I'll be uh, installing it all and uh, reviewing it this summer. Anyway, let's get a look at the battery protect, see how it works. So we got a little test set up here. So we got a lithium battery here, 12 volt type, and then the positive goes into the in, and then the out is going to an inverter that's going to act as our load, and then that inverter is just going to power our lights so we know it's on. Turn that on, you can see the light comes on. So on here, it's telling me it's working properly by flashing that dot. You can press this and go through some settings. It's telling me, L tells me it's in load mode. So this can be set up to, to protect the battery when it's running a load from over discharge, or you can put it into charging mode and it can protect the battery from overcharging. There's also this little thing here that you can see it's a little switch here. So you can utilize that right now. It's jumper to be on, but you can utilize that to turn this on and off like a solid state switch. So it can be hooked up to say a lithium battery BMS, where you could have it turn off so it doesn't charge, you know, low temperature protection, doesn't charge below freezing, that sort of thing. You, a, lot of, a lot of people utilize that with lithium batteries. They'll put one in between this and the charge source, say like a, a solar charger or a, a power charger for on-grid, that type of thing. Let's go through the app here. This is the Bluetooth version. Highly recommend the Bluetooth version because if you don't have the Bluetooth version, you have to go through to do the setup. You use this little button and you gotta hold the button sort of thing. It's kind of convoluted. You can do it with the button, but it's much easier with the app. So we'll just give you a look at the app here. So this is my SRNE app and you can see it's got various things. It controls a bunch of different things. I have my DC to DC charger, solar charger, inverter. And down here, this is the battery protector. I click that, it'll connect to the device and it tells me it's working. Output switch is on. Right now the battery voltage is 12.9 because it's running the load. If I was to turn that load off, you can see that voltage go up. There we go, 13.1. And it's got temperature of the protector too. Historical information, so it'll keep a running total of everything that's going on. Basic info here. We've got uh, the name, you can change the name, serial number, software version, check for firmware updates. And then this little gear icon here. Oops. You can see that's where we set things up. So you can see it's in protector mode. Drop down goes. I could change it to charging mode if I wanted to use it for protecting the battery from overcharging or over voltage, that sort of thing. And like I said before, you could use it to cut, up, cut off charging. And then there's system voltage. And then down here you can set the different parameters. I have it right now, user custom, but you can go in here and set different levels. And each level will give you 
a different version of these numbers right now. See, over voltage is 17 volts, over discharge voltage is 11.5. I changed that to a different version of that. Those figures change. I think this is the basic one that, that its default one is over voltage 15 volts, over discharge voltage 10.7. So we'll just give you a demo of it actually protecting the battery from over discharge. I'm going to actually to do that, I can't really lower the voltage on this battery very easily. So I'm just going to change the system voltage to 24 and that'll make it actually kick in and give you a demo of it working. Back here should disconnect or disconnected. Real time monitor here. Yeah, you can see battery over discharge, output switched off. And then also it has this dash, means it's in that. There's, it does various things for different errors show up on this. But the app gives you a more detailed report of what's going on. So let's just go back and put that back at 12 so we can turn it back on again. There we go. Go back. It should pop back on. There we go. And we're back in business. You can see output switch back on. So like I say, it's nice to have the Bluetooth version of this for sure. Uh, maybe I'll just give you a demo of using this uh, manual switch. Okay, so I removed the stock little jumper clip there. Added a few wires. So this three pin thing, one is ground. And the ground goes back to the negative of the battery. And all that does is, is give power and ground to this. So it can work. So here we go. I've just got the jumper clips here and I'll pull one off and that'll be like opening the switch and our light should go off. There we go. So now the switch is open. It's turned off this like a solid state relay and I'll switch it back on and bang we're back in business. So that's pretty cool. So it's like having your own uh, remote jumper. You could take this and have the switch mounted anywhere. If you just wanted a way to turn off um, a bunch of loads, say in your camper, you have a bunch of your uh, loads for your lights and all that, it'd be a convenient way to just turn them off. Or if, especially if you have lead acid batteries, if it ran down rather than just hurting the battery, running it overly flat so that it's not even recoverable, this thing could save it from over discharge. Okay, let's test it as a charge protector. So I just have this as my charge source. It's a 30 amp uh, battery charger. So it's going through. I've gone into the app and I've changed it to be a protector, not a load. And I've also gone in to custom level and put over voltage at 14.2 which is a nice thing. It goes as low as 14. So you can kind of set it so you don't overcharge your lithium. Although most have their own protection, but it's kind of a nice feature. You can set that at whatever you want. We'll just go 14.4. And you can see I'm getting 30 amps of charging there. Now, same thing if I wanted to disable charging, I could have my remote switch and just go like that and it would turn off charging. Let's see it's dropped down to zero and this thing flashes F. I think it stands for wiring failure or something. Put that back and we should be back in business. Battery over voltage. Interesting. I'll turn this on again. There we go. It reset. So we'll wait for this to ramp up again. It starts at 7.8 amps and it goes up to 30 amps. And then what we're going to try is a battery over voltage. Um, yeah, I think I'll set this to 24 volts. 
and that should trigger the over voltage so let's go here let's go off there and I'm going to change this over to 24 volts now that should be too high and this should uh, go into over voltage right now we're at 13.3 so let's give her a try see what happens oh no it switched back on me just a sec Well, I guess this box is actually smart enough. Yeah, interesting. Should be able to just make it a 24 volt supply, I think, though. No, this box is too smart. <laughs> It'll let me screw up. It's kind of neat. Anyway, I think I may be able to just lower this down enough. Let's try going right down as low as she goes. 14 volts. Too bad you can't go lower. There we go. I think when we turn this on. Nope. Let's try repair. Well, unfortunately, and I am able to test the over voltage. It uh, default is 15, and even when I go to user customs, every time I go and try to change this, say I want to put it at 14, and uh, save that, it always pops back to 15 on me. Try that again, real time. Yeah, you see, it goes right back to 15. So. I don't know, maybe they're probably still working on their app. Like I say, all this stuff isn't out for sale yet. They just sent it to me as an early kind of tester for them. But you'll see everything put together on my boat this summer. We'll be back on the boat in June and I'll be installing the whole complete SRNE system to uh, test this summer on our boating adventures. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.